I've never been a fan of smartwatches in general because I don't like the concept of charging your watch every night or every two nights. It's not something I'm fond of. But with Apple announcing their new Apple Watch Series 4 just last night, I'm genuinely tempted. First off, the watches are bigger. They come in 40mm as well as 44mm sizes, which means you'll be able to see more content on screen, which is obviously a good thing. The speakers on the watch are also improved 50% louder, according to what Apple claims, and the microphone has moved to a different position so that you can communicate with people using the microphone better, and you get less echo when you talk to the watch when you're in a call for example. And inside you get this new S4 chipset and a dual core processor which makes the watch run faster. And I haven't experienced that, this is just what Apple is saying. Another big change is the digital crown, similar to what you get on a hardware watch. This is somewhat a traditional feature of every single Apple watch and this time it's been completely redesigned. So you get this haptic touch feedback when you rotate it which just makes the whole experience and the whole rotating thing a lot more prominent so you know where exactly the crown is rotating and where exactly it's stopping which is kind of a nice touch i don't know if that needed a full-on redesign but that's something new with the series 4 watch now as we know the interaction space on a watch is pretty limited it's the screen and that's where you're going to be having most of the interaction obviously watch os 5 and that's exactly where apple has bundled in a lot of the new features on this new watch so apple's focusing on health and fitness with this new watch and this is how they're doing that. For health, there's two main improvements. One being a cool one, the other one being absolutely revolutionary. So we'll start off with the cool one. The Apple Watch can now detect falls and that's not the season, it's actually when someone falls. So the Apple Watch Series 4 has a new accelerometer and a new gyroscope which basically um, detects a fall so apple has tried to map the trajectory of wrist patterns and wrist movements in order for the app to detect a fall and to act accordingly so it can detect up to 32 g of forces and all of this is a lot of physics but at the same time it is pretty cool so when you fall down apple will be able to notify emergency services of your fall if it's that severe so if you respond within the 60 seconds of your fall Apple will notify you whether the fall was minor or major and whether you have to take emergency service action or not. But if you don't respond within 60 seconds, so once you fall, you're unconscious, for example, Apple will automatically send a notification to emergency services for sort of help to you within 60 seconds of your fall, which is pretty cool. So if you're not around people and people haven't noticed that you've sort of taken a tumble or you're unconscious, this is a really good feature to have. But what really stands out with the Apple Watch Series 4 is the fact that you can now generate electrocardiograms on your watch. So ECGs for short are electrocardiograms that basically are done in hospitals to judge your heart rate etc but now you can do it with your watch all you have to do is hold onto the crown of the watch for 30 seconds let the watch do its thing and it will generate an ECG report for you to store personally or for you to send to your doctor and best of all this is FDA approved or it is approved by the Food and Drugs Administration very very cool props to Apple for this I think this feature is absolutely remarkable and for it to be on such a small technological device is just showing or paving the way of how we interact with technology to promote healthcare in general. And it doesn't stop there. The watch can also do things like monitor your glucose levels or monitor your heart rate patterns, for example. But all of this is sort of limited to the USA for now. So the electrocardiograms, the glucose monitoring, all of that is coming to the USA via an update in the future. That's what Apple is claiming. So with other regions sort of in the dark right now, I don't know how Apple is going to get past the hurdle of getting this thing approved in other regions or other markets around the world. And as I said, the other core feature of the Apple Watch Series 4 is to encourage fitness. You can track your goals, track your steps, track your running, progress, etc. You can compete with other Apple Watch owners to see how you're doing fitness-wise. And all of that just creates this whole 
fitness ecosystem which encourages people to obviously get fitter. The new Apple Watch might also be a very good upgrade for runners out there because it does give you a six hour extended battery life on GPS, which is really cool for people who run a lot and for them to track their steps, track the calories burnt, etc etc so from what i understand the apple watch series 4 is just a great way to stay connected wherever you are with this thing having things like cellular support for you to make calls you can listen to podcasts using this thing or you can use it underwater or even call upon siri to do the tasks you do with siri i don't know who uses siri anymore but you can still do that and with all of that this thing still has 18 hours of battery life the same amount of battery life that you got with the Apple Watch Series 3, which just makes this a very, very solid upgrade from Apple. While I've got no hands-on time with this thing, I really do think this watch is going to be a very solid upgrade. It's gonna be available starting the 14th of September, and these are the prices of the watch on screen. For anyone who has a previous Apple Watch, you'll be glad to know that this thing actually supports the bands that you might have lying around, so you won't need to upgrade the bands as well as the watch if you're planning to upgrade from a last generation Apple Watch. But that about sums up my thoughts. I'm genuinely tempted to buy this watch, but because I'm more of an Android guy, I can't really use this watch in conjunction with my Android phone. It's not compatible, so I don't know how I'm gonna get around that. Maybe I'm gonna buy the iPhone XS, who knows, but yeah, really looking forward to getting my hands on the Apple Watch Series 4, maybe just for a quick demo or for me to use with an iPhone. But that's all for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the very next one. Adios.